Hello everyone, welcome again. In our previous video, we saw that how to use the data table to provide argument value from the feature file to this step definition. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss about the third approach of supplying the argument value from the feature file, that is scenario outline. Now using the scenario outline, you can perform the data driven testing. That means using the scenario outline, you can run the same scenario with different set of data. Okay. And one more thing, let us suppose during the runtime, if I want to ignore any of scenario for that, you can use the ignore annotation. So during the runtime, it is going to ignore this particular scenario. So it is similar to that of ignore attribute, which we used in MS test framework. So let us suppose this is the scenario, which I want to run for different set of data. So first of all, in order to use the scenario outline, you need to use the scenario outline keyword instead of scenario. So I'm going to copy this line and modify it. So with scenario outline and in scenario outline, you need to specify the scenario in a specific format. So here I'm going to copy this entire scenario, paste it over here. I'm going to remove this step. Instead, I'm going to introduce a new step where I'm going to supply the argument directly from the feature file for CVRT hardware platform. So, so first of all, let me modify this. So this will be F link. This will be L title. This will be user password E title. Then this will remain same. This will be B title and this will be same. And here I will create one more step. So when I provide the CVRT, hardware, platform summary and description. Okay, and I'm going to remove this. First of all, I will generate the step definition for this step. So it's a when step, so I will go to the when region. And here I supply, here I'll paste the step definition code. I'm going to use the same line of code, but without the for loop. So this will be CVRT, this will be hardware, this will be platform, this will be summary and this will be description. So CVRT, hardware, 
platform summary and description and I'm going to supply these argument inside the method so CVRT this will be hardware this will be platform this will be summary and this will be description okay once this is done you need to use the example keyword to provide the value for this argument so in the scenario outline whatever the argument you are providing from the feature file should be like this okay in the angular brackets okay and inside the angular bracket will be the header and the header value will come from the example so this is the format of scenario outline so now here I will create the example so first one will be test case and this is an optional field it's just uh, it is just used to specify the name for a row and rest will be like this so same manner we will specify the table as we are doing for the data table here the only difference is that there you need to use the for each loop to iterate for the entire data table but here the spec flow automatically rerun the same scenario for different set of example so this will be tit L title user password E title B title after that CVRT hardware summary and description okay and here I will specify the test data so let's say test case A and test case B so the link will be file bug for both the run the title will be this for both the run username will be this for both the run similarly for the password enter bug title so this is the title for both the run and this is the bug detail title for both the run and now this will be the value for the first run for CVRT hardware and so on okay here the platform I forgot so platform and similarly for the second run these are the values so now what will happen the same scenario will run twice because we have two rows in the example so this is considered as the data for our scenario outline so once again in order to use the scenario outline first we need to use the keyword called scenario outline instead of scenario whatever the argument you want to pass inside the steps that should be inside the angular bracket with the header name and you need to use the example where you are going to map the header name with their value so during the runtime one by one this value will be supplied in the steps okay now the advantage here is that when you use the data table it will be applicable for only single step that means this particular data table will be applicable for only this step whereas the scenario outline examples will be applicable for the entire steps so wherever I'm using the parameters and I have specified 
those parameter here those will be automatically supplied during the runtime okay so I'm going to again ignore th this particular scenario and put a debug point over here okay and also inside this method so you can see the value what is the value which is coming okay so I will build the solution so as you can see here automatically there are two new scenarios one and if you look at the description that is create bug scenario or bugzilla with scenario outline that is same and they are different based on the test case name so that is why I use the test case name to differentiate between two scenarios. and as you can see here there are two scenarios which represent that the same scenario will be run for two set of data okay you can have more than more than two rows also inside the example so the number of rows in the example the number of times the scenario will get executed okay so again I will build it so during the runtime when the execution happen first it will pick up the first row automatically it is going to supply the value inside the corresponding steps then after that it will pick up the second row and also supply the value in the corresponding step for the second run so I'm going to run this okay let me cancel it I want to run it in debug mode actually so clean build and run in debug mode so it has hit the debug point I will do a step over let me remove this from here so background is done okay so I need to put a debug point over here okay so if I do a step over it will come inside this step and as you can see here during the runtime automatically it has supply the value of the link text that is a file above and which is coming from here okay so this value automatically got supplied here during the runtime so it will click on file above link which will take me to the home page sorry login page after that I will assert for the title so again this title is coming from the example then I will provide the username and password so again the value of username and password is coming from the example then again this title is coming from the example So as you can see here CVRT, hardware, platform, summary and description all these things are coming from the example. so as you can see here for the first round it is done so I'm going to stop this script and rerun it without debug mode so I'm going to stop
So as you can see here, as we have used the at the rate ignore annotation, because of that, this two scenario got ignored. Okay. So I'm going to just clean it, build it. And I'm going to run this without debug mode. So first it will run for the first set of data. Now it will run for the second set of data. So in this manner, you can use scenario outline to run the same scenario for different set of data. Okay. So again, if you want to use the scenario outline, first you need to use the scenario outline keyword. And whenever, wherever you want to supply the argument, you need to use the angular bracket followed by the header name. And in the example, you need to specify the value for those headers. Okay. Third thing, the number of rows which are present inside the example, the number of times same scenario will get executed. And you can see it here. So there are automatically two scenarios got generated based on the test case A row and test case B row. Okay. So in this manner, you can use this scenario outline to pass the argument from the feature file to this step definition. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.